Good morning. Good morning. My name is Derek Hayes. I currently live in Columbus, Georgia. And since the theme of the conference is I want to be successful, we're going to talk about the principles of giving today. But before that, I need to see where you're at in life. How many in here want to be successful? Everyone answered me right. How many want to be successful? Okay. Now, everyone in here has a talent, right? Everyone in here has a gift. When I say who has the skills, I want you to say I have the skills. Who has the skills? I have the skills. Who has the skills? I have the skills. Who has the skills? I have the skills. Okay, now, you just spoke that into existence. You're speaking life into your dream. You're speaking life into your opportunity. When you say you have the skills, guess what? These talents are going to start finding you if you don't find them. They can be negative or positive. So look into your life and find the positive things that you can do. Now, when you have these talents, what's one thing you can do with your skills? What's one thing you can do with your skills? Make money. Okay, okay. What's your name? Dr. Taylor, here's a book. It's called The Toilet Paper Entrepreneur. That's a guy that makes money. He's a multimillionaire. And he connects with me through networking. And if you read his book, he, he talks about making money. And he's a multi-man, he's been on national TV, his name Mike Mike Allowance. So he's a great guy that I network with. So every, every event I go to, he wants to partner, he wants to reach others and give back. That's why we're going to talk about this principle of giving. So I'm a, I'm a, where are my old school people at? Anybody before, born before 1980? Okay, okay, okay. Now I got this chant I'm going to do. Now I got this chant I'm going to do. So we talking about having the skills, we talking about making money, so follow me. Let me hear you say, make money, money, make money, money. Make money, money, make money, money. Okay, okay, okay. We can't, we can't do it like two thousand. We got to come better than that. If you really want to make money, let me hear you say, make money, money, make money, money. Hey, come on. Make money, money, make money, money. Okay, okay, we're going to get better. We're going to get better with that. So we know we got the skills. We know you're going to make money. But we're going to talk about the principles of giving. Now. The reason why I'm here is because, like I mentioned, the principle of giving. I get back all the time. I live in Columbus, Georgia. I got up this morning, I was excited. I drove two hours to be with you. Full time, I'm a juvenile corrections officer. The reason why I mention that, because some of your friends I work with on a daily basis, they locked up. They don't have the same opportunities that you had. They, don't, they, don't have, they can't wake up on their own. They get told when they, get, when they have to wake up, when they, when they go to eat, what type of clothes they can wear, dress like you, they have to reach certain levels. So I want you to look in the mirror when you go home and realize that you're blessed. Realize that you had the skills, you had the opportunity, and that you can make a difference. Who in here knows what they want to be in life? Who you want to be, Frank? You want to be a barber. That's a great connection. You know why that's, a, you know why that's great, what he just said? See, I network. I tune in the key words. Young brother on the panel right here named Mike. Mike owns barbershops. Mike can be a mentor to Frank. You see how that works? You see how, right. the, how the spirit right. works? Yeah. It's not about me, it's about connecting to what's going on in, in society, connecting to what's going on. Then when, you, then when you, you talk about being a barber, there's also a patent attorney. You might come out with your own clippers. Clippers that, that just change the world on how we cut, how we do facials. How, how, like women, they, they shave their legs. How just different ways you can make money. You know, and the talent right here on the panel can show you how to make it. So you just you just learn how to how to give. Another way I give is <coughs> Brother Frank. He gave me his name. I turned Frank's name into a Derek now. Not an acronym, but a Derek now. When I lived here a few years ago, I lived in Marietta. All I had was my hustle. All I had was my gift. Like you say. You had, you had the skills, you ready to make money. That's all I had. I had to eat. If I didn't, if I didn't go out on the street, I got thrown out of Linux Mall. I went in there to hustle. I had books. I had a dream. They put me out. I got thrown out of post offices. I got thrown out of clubs. I mean, I was on my hustle. I mean, all I had was my dream. And, and even though it was legal in one sense, it was illegal in another. But I hustled. I kept going. I said, man, no matter what, I'm going to make it happen. What do you like to do? I'm what, what, doing what? On a business. He wants to own a business. That's a good idea. But I want, I want you all to start thinking about what type of business. When you get when you get on, look up a name, Fair Gray. He made his first million dollars at the age of 16. He, it's that F A R A H G R A Y. 